you want something done differently, where do you begin? You start by freeing yourself from boundaries and limitations. You let go of the norm. You start from the very beginning. Design around a purpose. You design inside out. You demand what seems impossible. Focus on every detail. And in the process, revolutionize the way it's done. Boundaries are no more. You surrender only to your imagination. of Herzog and Demuron, the landscape vision of Raymond Jungles, and interior lifestyles designed by Pierre-Yves Rochon of PYR. Discover a world built around a purpose. A world built around the concept that the space we occupy should be molded around us not the other way around. Fifty-seven stories of breathtaking views and a magnificent pool deck that sits right on the sands of the Atlantic Ocean. Jade's signature is an elegant expression of genius. Miami's most inspired condominium tower embodies the very spirit of innovation with creativity and beauty infused into every detail. A seamless integration. Complexity. Yet the most complex is often the simplest of things. Most buildings are designed or conceived with the exterior look first and then you decide the units around this. We did the opposite basically because we really listened to what the customer wants. This building was conceived from the inside out. We wanted the perfect floor plan. We wanted that perfect, amazing, seamless floor plan to be surrounded by the perfect lifestyle. This is an architectural masterpiece. 
So the space was really conceived for, for the way people would live. I'm always thinking about the guests, the way they're coming, the way they are going to live there. And we provide them a quality. Before, we were all concerned about how nice the building looked from the outside without taking into consideration what the outside would do to the inside. Here, we changed that philosophy completely, and I believe it's going to be the next wave of designing residential buildings. You have to think of the person that lives there before you think about how the building looks in the outside. When you open the door, it's another life. And and that is my duty, my responsibility to provide the, the best welcome back to home every day. We knew that our buyers wanted to come into this amazing residence and be able to enjoy both views at the same time. It's a flow through unit. I look west and I look east, watch the sunrise every morning. The way the design is very smart. Everybody has a view on the ocean. You have sometimes the transparency between the two sides of the building. You have the ocean, which is incredible, but you also have the intercoastal and the city lights. The night skyline and the views at night are spectacular and something else. We came to the conclusion that the residence would not have a balcony anymore, that it will have an extensive terrace. You want to live outside, so they have these great balconies that are actually large enough to serve as an outdoor living room. We dedicated three full stories, three complete floors to amenities. The amount of space and, and the design of the amenity levels is, I work on a lot of great projects, this is the best I've ever seen on the beach, for sure. This building has a very unique characteristic, which is the seamless integration between the amenity areas and the beach and, and the ocean. There is no boundaries. You can be at the pool or at the beach or at the restaurant. Because we put the parking on the ground, the building seems connected to the ground or is coming out of the ground, and therefore you feel like you're in a resort. Herzog and Demoron has received the Pritzker Prize of Architecture, which is the highest level uh, prize that, that an architectural firm can receive. They have an incredible trajectory of past projects that include the Burr's Nest, which is the Olympic Stadium in Beijing, China, the Tate Modern Museum in London. They were the designers of 40 Bond in New York. Even locally here in Miami, they designed 1111 Lincoln Road, and now they are designing uh, the Paris Museum of Art. This architecture, this choice of the architects, is a strong choice. They understood who the residents, who the buyer was, and they wanted to build around that person. The geometry is, is organic. Everything flows, it's about movement, it's about line, it's about texture, it's about being of the earth. The exterior of the building and the design of the building has a purpose to be that way. The arches change in different ways. Some go up, others are inverted. They frame the view. And we, when you see a spectacular view, but that when that view is framed, it's like framing a picture then that view changes, it looks different, it looks more appealing. We travel all around the world and interview the most important designers and eventually decided to go to Paris to interview Pierre Rochon, PYR, who has designed some of the most magnificent hotels in the world, including the Georgian Four Seasons in Paris, the Savoy in London, the Four Seasons in Florence, and so on. He's able to bring somehow a magic that when you go to any of these hotels, the lifestyle and the way you experience lifestyle is really amazing. The architecture has one style, very strong, and when you're coming inside, you should keep, you should bring the outside inside, of course. It's my work to translate the luxury according with the style of the building. He knows how to bring that resort lifestyle component that we were looking for. Because we want our residents to have the most unbelievable 
resort lifestyle to have an incredible experience. As I'm always doing, I'm dreaming. And I'm dreaming as if I was a, a customer. Every day, when you will be inside, you should feel at home when you push the door. When you are at the pool, you're directly connected to the beach and the ocean. When you're down on the ground plane, you'll be nestled into it, and it'll be a very comfortable place to be. But when you're up above it, looking down into it will be equally as exciting. And um, you can't really miss looking down and seeing a beautiful pool and beautiful landscape, and then looking up a little bit and seeing a beautiful ocean. It doesn't get much better than that. I am very, very proud of being able to put this collaboration together, not only from the in-house team that we have at Fortune International, which are very, very talented, but also to be able to, to put some of the most brilliant minds in the world, including Herzog and Demoron, on the architectural side, Piri Rochon on the interior designs, and Raymond Jungles on the landscaping, really makes me very, very proud of what we have accomplished. The architecture is inspiring to me. The, the team at, at Jade has been great to work with. And of course, it's a team. Obviously, it's a lot of work, but, but it's such a pleasure. I mean, I, I am sure people are going to love living there. This is going to revolutionize the way people design buildings in Miami.